This video, I'm going to be going over a five play little mini scheme here out of the trips tight end offset formation. Now, this offense, offensive formation is in a lot of different popular playbooks. And this particular one we're going to be breaking down today is in the Colts playbook, but you can apply a lot of these concepts to whatever playbook you are running. A lot of playbooks have some type of trips and the route combos that we're going to be going over today are really good for that. Now, if you guys want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, it's going to be available in our school community. School.com slash Cody Ballard is the best place to take your Madden game to the next level. Reason being is because it's a full-fledged library of content for both Madden and NCAA, not just offensive and defensive ebooks. While we have plenty of those, we also have a ton of exclusive tips and tricks and tutorials to help you take your game to the next level. So if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure to sign up for school. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and you can sign up at the link in the description below. Now, the audibles we're going to be setting for this trips tight end offset mini scheme is the play X under RPO alert bubble verticals and the play PA crossers. Now, uh, normally you're going to be audibling into this, but I'm going to be jumping out in the uh, RPO alert wide receiver screen just to kind of give you another look here. But the main play that we want to call whenever we go to this formation is the RPO alert bubble. The reason this bubble is so good is because if I'm in a zone coverage, it doesn't really matter what zone coverage it is. This bubble screen is going to be open the majority of the time. And with one juke, one spin, you're going to be in a really good position to get a lot of yardage. This is really good for any kind of like zone blitz. If you're playing someone that's running the double mug defense and they don't have this manned up, this bubble screen is going to be really effective for that. As you see, it's just really good against zone. Now, the counter to the bubble screen is that they have to man him up, right? And so what we want to do is we want to have the ability to beat main coverage easily from this formation. That's where the play PA crossers is going to come in. For PA crossers, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to slant our inside trips receiver. We're going to want to, uh, if you can zig him, zig him, but often most people can't, um, flat or zig the middle trips receiver. We're going to put the tight end on a uh, a in route and then we're going to stem him to about 15 yards of depth so you see kind of a deeper in route and then we're going to take our running back we can put him on a table route and basically run the play like this now the reason this is really good against man coverage is because this is a slant post or slant or shallow concept and i love this play for man coverage because these stemmed out routes this year are so effective at consistently beating man coverage and then this also allows you, if you wanted to, you could put a stemmed all the way down out route and in route on this left side. And you'll see that this will give you some opportunities to beat that man coverage. Didn't quite beat it there on that right, but that's another thing that you can do. Now, the beauty of this play in particularly is the fact that we also are going to have a good high-low read on the right and a good high-low read on the left between the slant and the flat and the dig and the flat on the backside. So if they do run like a zone coverage, let's say they run like a cover four coverage to try to stop this and we guess wrong, maybe we think that they're showing man coverage and it's not and, and all that, well then we can look to this play and what you're gonna see here is this creates a high-low on both sidelines. So you'll see that this, this uh, slant route can actually be thrown over here on the right side if they don't have a a cloud flat, which most people aren't going to have a cloud flat on that side. That was actually a curl flat, and that didn't really play it. And then also, we're going to see here that this tight end route, if we put him to about 15 yards depth, you're going to see that it's going to get into kind of a unique position on the field as well. And we're just creating high-low reads for our offense. Now, the other cool part about this PA crossers play is this play is also, with a different setup, a cover three bomb. So if they are running a lot of cover three, I like to go to this PA crosser play, and we're going to streak the middle inside trips receiver. We're going to corner route our tight end. We're going to put our outside trips receiver on an in route and stem him all the way down. And then I like to put my running back on the table route. So we have a high-low read on the right, and then we have this kind of bomb play coming back across. Our first read is always this seam streak on the left, but oftentimes this tight end corner is going to be your main route, and you're going to throw that. It's going to be a very easy read, and what that is going to force your opponent to have to do is it's going to force them to have to kind of start to get into some cover three cloud rotations, 
and just different types of coverages to basically defend that tight end corner. So once they start to defend that tight end corner, I want you to look to your running back and just see if you can check it down to him. If you can check it down to him, simply just take what the defense gives you by using that table route. However, if you do have time in the pocket and you notice that they're starting to use a lot of cover three coverage on you, what I want you to look for is this one play touchdown to the middle trips receiver. You're going to see he's going to cross the face of that middle third, and you can throw this against cover three cloud. You can throw it against cover three basic. You can throw it against a lot of stuff and get a big, big, big play. Now, back to that original setup that we showed you out of PA Crossers, I also wanted to cover this one. This setup is a really good play for bombing cover two. So if they are running a lot of cover two, this is a combo that can bomb cover two. You'll see that this skinny post is just going to kind of take the top off of the defense, and you're going to be able to get over the top of that cover two coverage. So within the trip side information, we have cover three beaters, cover four beaters, cover two beaters. It's very difficult to play zone against this, but it's also simultaneous just as difficult to play man coverage. Now, if we were going to go back to the PA crossers play against the cover four coverage, you're going to see that a lot of times if you take this middle trips receiver and put him on a streak, this will help kind of clear out this deep space for this deep post to just take the top off of the defense against cover four. So you're able to bomb cover four, cover three, cover two with pretty much the same play or same variation of the play. So you have great man beaters, you have great zone beaters, and now we're going to kind of get into some of the other combos that you could run out of this formation. One of my favorite plays is the play verticals here, and all we're going to do with our setup is we are going to take our running back and put him on an in route, and we're going to put our tight end on that corner route. This is going to create that verticals concept from a traditional trips, and our first read is always going to be that middle trips receiver. Remember how I said that in order for them to defend trips effectively uh, with that RPO bubble screen, they're going to need to be manning up this middle trips or this inside trips receiver. Well, that puts a lot of, a lot of stress on that curl flat defender, and you're going to see here that this little streak is just going to kind of get into a soft spot if they are continuing to run zone coverage, which they really can't run a high degree amount, a high percentage of zone coverage against this, this formation. But the problem is if they run man coverage, then we can kind of get back into setups like what we just showed you out of PA crossers where we're able to kind of have that tight end. We have that crosser. We have all these plays that just do a really good job of beating man. So you're really put in, in, a, in a lot of conflict when you're playing this formation. So we've covered a couple setups from PA crossers. We've covered a couple of setups from verticals. One other thing I wanted to show you about that verticals play is it's really good for cover two. So if they are running a lot of cover two, you're going to see here that that middle uh, trips receiver is going to bomb that cover two up into the inside. That seam streak is super effective for taking the top off of the defense in a cover two situation. So we've shown the abilities to beat pretty much every zone coverage. And now what I want to do is go over kind of a cool route in the play X under. This cool route in the play X under is this corner route to the tight end in which we can stem him all the way down. And you can't hot route this corner. It's a sharp corner. And what this sharp corner is going to do what normally a really good job of is attacking a high, giving you a high low read on that right side that does attack man and does attack zone coverage. So if they play man coverage, a lot of times this tight end is just going to get this outside separation. And honestly, even if he doesn't get outside separation, I'm going to show you something that you can do. Something that you can do with this route is you can high point it. And what you'll see here is if it's not open, a lot of times you can just basically aggressive catch it against the man coverage. And typically this will be open against man coverage. Now against zone coverage, what you're going to be able to do is typically you're just going to be able to throw this with an outside pass lead. And you see that the, the outside quarter, the outside third, they're just never going to be able to, they're just never going to be able to defend the route, right? But then this, let me show you this one more time against man, see if we can actually get this rocket catch. We see here, we're just going to let him run his route. You see, you're just going to high point it. You see there, that's the idea. You're just going to get that nice aggressive catch animation. Now, that being said, the rest of the combo is going to do a really good job of beating man. What I like to do is on this back on this back side, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a flat 
a dig, and then this cross. So the reason this is good is because this deep crosser is going to do a really good job of beating man. This backside in is going to do a really good job of beating man. And then the flat route is going to basically pull all of the zones. So in this one little setup here, you have a lot of variety and a lot of things that can beat a lot of different coverages. And again, you'll see here that this crosser is going to be a nice man beating route over that right side. We haven't even gotten into some of the other things that we can do from this as far as just, you know, like a flat, um, doing like a curl combination, kind of something like this right here. This is still a really, really good setup and one of the best in the game because that running back angle route does a good job of beating man if you have the hot route master ability. But in general, this offense is just a very, very good offense. One of the best things you can do this year in the play X under is you could also run it like this where we just use that tight end streak. The reason we want to use that tight end streak is it's going to clear out these zones and then this can kind of come underneath it. Now, the one issue with this is a cover four coverage. It's going to do a little better job on that crossing route. However, remember, we can bomb cover four with this PA crosser setup. So you have kind of best of both worlds and the ability to pretty much take the top of the defense whenever you want in this formation while simultaneously having some of the best little screens and bubble screens that you can have in in Madden 25 so you have the deep post you also have the bubble screen I cannot stress enough you should be calling this bubble screen if they are going to play zone you are going to throw this bubble screen and you're going to take advantage of this, right? Um, Slim Ghost actually taught me this one. Shout out to Slim. But but uh, anyways, as far as man coverage goes, I don't think you really need a lot of man-beating plays here. I think the best man-beating play in the formation is this PA crossers because we have this slant. We have this in route, which always, always, always beats man. And then if you want to run it like this, you know, you can. I would probably run it like like this, for example, You'll see sometimes that running back route will get separation, but you see the main thing here is your, your slant, your crossers, those get consistent separation. One little last play that I do think is worth at least touching on is X under, and the reason why I wanted to touch on this is we're going to use a motion setup. So the reason that this is going to be effective is we can incorporate this really good for man. You can incorporate this speed out. When you motion, you can put this guy on the left on a speed out cut, and that speed out is just going to fry man coverage. You see there, just fries man coverage to the sideline, and then you have a crosser and a slant as well as that stem tight end route. So all in all, this play is really good this rpo screen is not the best play against man coverage as you see but if they are running cover two or really any zone coverage this play is still pretty decent i do believe that the bubble screen is ultimately probably a better play but if they're trying to defend the bubble screen by just manning up that guy and they're still playing a lot of zone going to something like this is really really effective thank you for watching the video guys and if you want to check out my entire colts offensive ebook make sure that you join the school community school.com slash cody ballard the link to sign up is in the description below